I've got to give this as a tip when you're carpeting obviously the finish you want you're going to get this just a few little bits and dust out the van and wherever but I was getting loads of well not a lot just a few little specks of overspray you can wait till I dry pick them off if you catch them straight away you can get rid of them but carpeting is a, oh, it's a pain anyway to be honest it's two days out of your life it really is so good tip I'm going to pass it on because it does people's heads in it like it does mine um, tar and glue remover this one's a synthetic I'd imagine any of them will do just your normal tar and glue remover stick a phone there see there I mean that was quite a lot but every now and again you get it and it doesn't affect the fiber doesn't affect the carpet but it gets rid of it top tip purely based on the fact I've only just found that out myself it's my eighth day a bit better that's all the carpeting done quite a strong light at the moment. I've got an LED pointing at it. I've got a hopefully somebody coming later to give me a hand to put those up. So planned for today is the roof vent which I'm going to put there fair way back from the front there but kind of in line where a side opening window would be if you'd fitted side window glass here there'd be one there or one there so it's pretty much in the middle and the 170 watt solar panel which are gonna fit a long ways there it's kind of anything up to sort of 10 or 15 foot from back from the van and on six foot you can't see that panel so it's hiding itself as good as a flexible on a T4, 5 and I've bought a couple of brackets, these are the original ones they're kind of, it'd be too raised basically so I'm using corner brackets, I did buy these I will go with these which keeps it off you've got a centre line in the, the van bodywork there and this which is going to keep the solar panel cool when moving and obviously keep it aired while you're stationary and it'll be lifted just slightly so it's got air all round and the wire which is held up inside here at the moment is going to go in through this rubber grommet there so trace it out of there back through uh, across the roof inside and it'll be wired up sort of halfway down the van body there by the solar controller so yeah, cut the hole for that, drop it down, sick a flex to the roof, fit the inner panel when the plywood is plywood cladding is on, I'll go to that in a minute, and secure the solar, put the wire through. That's the normal cladding I've used on T4s and uh, actually yeah just T4s, I think I've done three or four T4s with that. Uh, which is good it's uh, 204 I think it's 8 foot um, which wasn't big enough for the transit but going this morning I actually sell a 300 which is big enough for this one so the, um, the plan was wow that's bright with the smaller cladding I was thinking of going to maybe here and then putting a batten across 
yeah, it's not ideal. So now I'm going to do a complete cladding across and I'll leave the last piece there for when I fit the LED lights, which you should be able to just throw through and wire up so I can get that done today as well, hopefully. I'm taking the original out. I'm leaving in this LED strip. May move that, don't know. And this one here, again, may put it at the front here. Switchable from the cab and the electric fuse board there. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, okay, roof. Okay, plan B. The wires that come out of the solar sensor are this end. So I, I'm probably going to turn it round or leave it as it is there long enough and go through this gr grommet there instead of the <clears throat> the back one there. The wires aren't long enough to come back on themselves round and into that. So it'll either be this way, it makes no difference which way around it is, but they're going to go through that one and then get rooted through uh, the normal way. Plan B. That's the solar panel now on. I've used corner clips, which keeps the frame just slightly raised off the roof. You've got these channels that are in the build of the van, so it keeps that nicely ventilated. I'm just doing the roof vent now. That's a roof fence marked out for the hole. Just do a pilot hole, get the hole cutter in it, get that out, treat the edges. Sick of flex round there, drop it in, um, screw it down one on each corner normally. That's the roof vent in. two pre-drilled holes on either side, I've gone in with those. There are more plotted out if you need it, but I don't normally go through any more than that. Normally, actually, I just go on the corners, but I've gone with two thirds of an inch of Sikaflex all the way around, and then that screwed in. Actually, Sikaflex onto the roof, then that screwed down, sort of squeezes it out, and then you go around the edges. Uh, give a good seal. That's with the vent fully open. And that's the vent closed. You can see now with that there and the solar panel. I'm holding that at eye level now. And uh, even at this distance where I'm now about 12 foot away, uh, holding that at six foot. It's only just about noticeable there. It's hanging all the way around. It's a good place to put them. Same at the back, you can't see anything. Just, so it's all nicely hidden away. That's the cowl that goes over the inner section. Obviously when the roof lining's on, I'm just about to start, that goes up. Sometimes you, you've got room to cut that down so it's flush basically. So that will fit flush with the, that will fit flush with the wood. There is a switch on there for four LEDs around the outside as well. And this works basically air in, air out, obviously when it's wired. And, uh, <clears throat> Nice, keep it simple, stupid mechanism. Open. Closed. Good design with this, the inner rubber there. It's got no chance of water ingress and metal sort of chicken wire type mesh there. Good roof fence. So our next job will be feeding the 
solar panel wire wires across this recess here and ready to connect with the secondary wires that go down to the control panel which sits kind of about there down to the leisure batteries <clears throat> and then I'll silicon all this up and the top as well um, actually that's done so that should be dry and then when I go across again here same again inside this tomorrow when that's dry and then the wood cladding obviously cut out to I think that, that overlaps yeah so if I remember rightly it was about a centimeter from there and then it will sit flush against it I can then take these out uh, and start on the put the leisure batteries in and uh, I think then it will be building up the back unit once the back unit's done bed in front units and with the roof cladding I'll come across to maybe six inches from the edge here both sides uniform I'll just start with a piece in the middle or staggered you obviously going to end up in the same place uh, leave it at that and the LED lights then which I haven't turned up throw them across one two three four and two in the cupboard um, I might even do one at the back because I've got these LEDs here two at the front and it leaves three one in the back cupboard and two for the so you can see what you're doing with the gas and the electric and the water etc so roof cladding so finally more light good news today I got a friend around helping with the LED lighting I've put six six thousand lumens six foot batten LEDs in the existing strip lights just basically gutted it and wired them straight in <coughs> um, yeah good news I can actually see what I'm doing there again I think I've said before I'm gonna put some around the outside so it's uh, it's made a big difference.